the missions. Let's go to the missions. So the story mode, I, I technically, oh, the, we've got Operation Withering Dusk. So let's do that. So we now rem we've rem memorized all the tools we need to use. Recently carried out against Kotak Analytics, an emissions tracking company with close ties to the EU. As the climate crisis intensifies, governments and large corporations are quickly learning the economic value of climate data analysis, and bad actors have taken notice. Equipped with improved climate models, countries can make informed decisions for long-term disaster preparedness and long-term sustainable development, all which translates into huge profit potential. This mm -hmm. life-saving, asset-preserving information is increasingly targeted by malicious third parties, eager to sell valuable data sets to the highest bidder. The Kotak Analytics attack is the fifth major climate data breach of 2019, and we have yet to learn anything about those responsible. We must recover the data quickly and determine who is behind this latest attack before they can strike again. Hell yeah. Okay, so like select that mission, I guess. Agent, we have a special assignment that requires your immediate attention. There's been a major data breach of Kotak Analytics, a research company specializing in tracking greenhouse gas emissions for the European Union emissions trading system. An unknown actor managed to steal over 12 terabytes of information, then wiped both their main and backup servers clean. We need you to recover the data, find out who took it, and why. How the hell do you download 12 terabytes of data without being noticed? Rising prices attract a lot so I don't of attention. Know. One of our sources flagged the data sale on the Bazaar, a marketplace between established data traffickers and corporations. The seller was identified as Nepomuk, a well-respected data broker who refused to give up their source, but for a significant fee, agreed to divulge information about the buyer, known only as Alpha Blue. We received the buyer. This seems important for some reason. Payment on the cryptocurrency site Karoka Coins. It's not much to go on, but it's our only lead into recovering the data. Your mission objectives are access the mission dossier in your local host, find and track the individual connected to Alpha Blue's Kuroka Coins public key, gather information about the stolen Kotak analytics data from the buyer's servers, infiltrate the network of any third party implicated in the data theft, download mm. key information from any third party internal networks, find and download any remaining files from the third party's network. Okay, so let's start hacking. Let's get our local host. What's happening? Hey, Agent. Higher Brass just told me we had an urgent top secret mission to do, and even though I'm technically on vacation, duty calls. I'm currently out of office, but I got my laptop here. I'm in a secluded location, and I'm equipped with a secure connection, so ready to go when you are. I've added a new folder to your local host with details on your task. Access it by typing in localhost to your file browser module. I'm aware. You need a username or password to get in since it's on your station. Why? From there, check out the Intel Nepo Why is this teaching us this nice how to play the game again? This is the second chapter, right? Withering Dusk. Yeah. We better check out KorokoCoins.io. If we can access their user database, we can see who registered Alpha Blue in their system. Probably find all sorts of interesting stuff in there. You involved in cryptocurrency at all, Agent? I'm lucky. I got in on the ground floor with Ghost Coin. Got a nice little nest egg waiting for me. Once I'm done with all this, my partner and I are going to get away from it all. Open a little bed and breakfast. That's actually where I'm now looking into. <laughs> okay. It, it, for some reason, it zoomed me into the very bottom of the document. So Nepomark provided us with the public key and an alias used by the buyer of the Kotak and analytics data. The public key relates to ghost coin from the cryptocurrency bank Karoka Coins, which is named KorokaCoins.io. We have a wallet key, which I'm assuming we have to use. And we're looking for Alpha Blue. Permission to infiltrate the network and search their database. Do not have permission to alter the account balances of any wallets within the Karoka. Do you reckon there's an achievement for altering that then? Um. Okay, I guess we'll do an OSINT scan. No, that's right, and then S. So we've got correct that I use a ledger email support. 
It's been a while. Fingerprint. You fingerprint. Fingerprint. That's what I'm looking for. I mixed them up. I thought the net, the WMI scanner was the one we needed to use. Let's just use the correct coins. We got one match. What's what is it? Apache up to date. Correct coins use ledger email. Is usually where shit goes down, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do a search split. Initiated. Okay, let's chuck a Fox Acid server. Fox the email Karaka coins. Fox Acid Fox Acid attack. I, I, I assumed that was not going to work, but they have the same image, so I thought maybe they're just a. Fox Acid attack. Connection completed. Okay, we are now connected. So let's do a dig of their database. Okay, we got the customer directory. I'm assuming it needs a password. No. No, it doesn't need a password. Okay. Some some theme password protected, but. Alpha Blue. I got cut off on the last message. Apparently Dispatch was serious about keeping comms mission critical. So, it seems Arthur Gunsberg is based in Budapest. I've added him and the Hungarian National Transport Authority and the Transportation Safety Bureau to X key score. See if you can find info on his car while I check for the coordinates of central Budapest. I forgot about X key score. Okay. Uh, I guess, what's Arthur doing with the Transport Safety Bureau of Hungary? I, I don't... I forgot that there are other filters that I haven't unlocked yet. I'm not sure if it's a level thing or what. Okay, we go. Okay, I've got the coordinates. Did you find the correct Arthur? Note down the license plate, then head to the sat view. The coordinates for the address in Budapest are 47.5, 19.1. That's 47.5... 19.1. Do I need to write that down? I'll figure it out. I think I can replay the last message, so it'll be fine. We got Arthur, we got Budapest. Or are they all from Budapest? They're probably all from Budapest. 47.5, That's 19.1. 47.5, 19.1. Okay, we got this guy. Uh, click to zoom. Add case file. Uh, the... What's... Is NGU... 441? Is that the number plate? Or is it AMBC? Um, I'm gonna go with... whoops. NGU441. Maybe I wait till I can connect to them via some public cell tower or something. This feels like I've done something wrong. Usually it's like an instant something's happened, but I'm just watching this dude drive around on the road. They didn't tell me to do anything, they just tell me to watch the dude. I guess, do it again. Let's go, let, actually, yeah, you know what, let's try and get the 1110media.com. 1110media.com. I realize that that is what I'm supposed to do. Find the one place I could hack and then hack that. Okay, now let's do a fingerprint. What's the most likely careers project? It's either project or careers, it has the, the www. We might need to do an IP address scan. I don't know if we have enough time for that, though. Wait, we don't even have an IP, so we can't do that. No, doesn't look like we can do that. Um, I'm gonna do another scan. I'm gonna do it for even longer. 
unfortunately, <laughs> that means that my tips and tricks video doesn't work for Operation Withering Dust. I thought, like, 2500 sounds like annoyance, right? And I noticed that nothing in the original campaign went over a thousand, but I have heard that you need to be patient for this, so my guess is I need to test for more results. Surely not 3,000. Is it better to use an S fuzzer and then cancel it when you found something new? Because with this, you don't get to see what they find when they find it. See, it finds all of them very quickly. I think it isn't terrible either. I'm wondering what's better to do it this way and then... There we go. Yeah, I think S fuzz is the way to go instead of an OSINT scan. I think maybe not even worth using Google, right? And just do the OSINT scan. So we want to use... Why have I got all of these over here? Uh, actually, let's move all of them back. And we'll fingerprint beta modulus at 1110media.com. So we'll try that as well. That's up to date. So fingerprint modulus. The hidden IPs. It's always the hidden IPs where it's like, whoop, forgot to update them. Okay, let's search for like that. What do we got? PHP 7. Okay, we got... Um... Uh, UDP, SNMP, after midnight, for Modulus. I don't like that the music's going off right now. Fox acid attack, VPN connect, oh. don't need you, need you. We're connected. We're checking that, we're scanning the key signatures, and the smart billboard. Got him. There we go. So we need to do it one more time. There we go. Network intrusion module initiated. Nice. Okay, just check your messages, I guess. What's my goal at the moment? Gather information about this attack analytics data from the buyer's server. No, messages aren't useful. Emails. Moment confirmation. Rare diver areas, huh? Spectre miner. Ooh, we need a password. Okay, so this payment confirmation is probably important because this is your transaction ID. Gather information about the stolen analytics data from the buyer's servers. At Minty Gunsberg, huh? I feel like that's important, but I don't know how I would use it. Really, there still is just like a disconnect button over here instead of me having to like go up and find where it was. This is the one. God dang it. I just assumed this was boring. And that file was uploaded just after the Kuroko coins payment. Nicely done. Twelve terabytes worth of space. I should have I should have known. Twelve terabytes has gotta be something you can find somewhere. Okay, so we gotta do go to mecashmoose.com. I'm gonna use the fuzzer this time. And then we'll fingerprint on the way. Mecash.com is a website as well. Okay, that didn't work. Do we maybe need to connect via password? Jesus, that was 60 seconds. We found nothing. This doesn't get IPs. Maybe I should have checked for the IPs first. Okay, maybe if I do the, um, who is? All private, great. A.Gunsberg. Perfect. Assuming case sensitive. Gunsberg with a capital? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Pacifero 745. Okay, let's do that one instead. This might not work either. It did work. Okay. Let's do a John the Ripper. First name is Arthur. Last name is Gunsberg. How old is he again? Definitely an amount. Uh, he's three years younger than me. Three years younger? Older. I think it's 28. Oh, it, it said that it's correct. Uh, Tomas. Baji Kareksen. Uh, any other variables I can think of? Oh, Minty Gunsberg. Mint works, huh? Budapest Central Library? Budapest, just in general. That makes sense. Yeah, so he likes coins. Maybe I could just write in coins? No, I don't know. Maybe that's good? Let's try that. You are about to perform an incomplete password. Okay. What else do we need? It's just about the library and the fact that he collects coins. So that's something we can do. Um, joining Mikash, Mikash doesn't sound like a good place. I don't know what the memorial piece actually is. Spectre Miner? Tomas, Baji, is there any other people that he talks to? Boros. Nope. 
Louis I. Aha! Attack launched. Jesus Christ, it's already been half. This game really like sometimes it'll stress you out and you'll want to quit after like ten minutes, but other times Password attack. Excuse me? Let's go. John the Ripper is the easiest thing to do. I reckon we get rid of the Gmail and Hotmail thing, because we all we know is that he's on social media. We don't even know if he has a Attack, Gmail, Hotmail, email account. What should be the very last thing? Password successfully it worked. Um, does that mean I have to use the Active Directory? Do I have to use File Browser? No, because Active... I don't know. File Browser is not what I want, right? Or is it Target Host? Hang on, is File Browser what I want? I always forget which one does which, because File Browser to me sounds like a local. Yeah, okay. I don't know why File Browser is not local. Why is File Browser... So everything was good, it's just... I thought that it was... Active Browser was non-local file browser. Like, when you say file browser, you usually think, uh, like, your files. Been removed, but we're still able to get some info on it thanks to this log. People really need to learn how to clean up after themselves. All right, just click on the file to get- I remember in, uh, Hacknet, you, you had to delete your logs constantly, or, or you would get, you would get messed up. Okay, I'll add that to the case file, I guess. UETS database bin image file 12 terabytes to spolgar at farkas learning i have i need to clean up the desktop <laughs> there's too much happening password attacks probably useless but i'll put that with a fox acid as like a an attack vector i know it seems like google gives me ips and then bing helps me search for them so it's always google first then bing that right okay here we go there we go while you try to access their network, I'll do some quick OSINT research on Farkas Learning. Fox Acid Attack Launched. Fox Acid Attack Connection Completed. Okay, let's do a fifth uh, net scan. Okay. So you found a lot of things. You got an active directory, which is useful. See, I feel like there's things that, like, I feel like we should be seeing stuff. Because, like, they exist, but it's not something that has files in it, so it's like, no, nah, it doesn't exist. And it's not very helpful. Excuse me? Is it that I missed the back, the forward slash? Oh, I hate this so much. Okay, users, we don't need any of these people, actually. None of these are the people we need. Polga. Susan Polga. Maybe I need to search their documents by now using this, I guess, because for some reason this one works. S. Polga. I want to be able to log in to their other websites. Oh, there we go. Okay, Susan Polgar. Little connect. There we go. Acquired. Awaiting variables to launch attack. Let's do a John the Ripper because we don't have much information. Actually. Let's do it again, but do it better. Jesus, that doesn't work very well. Wait, can I not type in anything? I just can't type things in? Why can I just not type things in? Attack launch. I'm very confused. Is, is there like something I can do with the hash? Is the display name the username? Password successfully it just works, okay. That's weird. I didn't expect that to just work. Okay, we got uplink, we got Download that zip file. It might be the missing data set. What's to do though? 
log into uplink.farkas, start your lumnu. I'm gonna add that because that seems useful. Okay, let me scan that file for malicious code. It'll take a second. From what I could find online, Farkas seems to be some kind of neural <laughs> network developer. Their website was pretty vague and full of tech buzzwords. Speaking of which, uh, I've been working on the brochure for the B&B. Do you think Crystal Clear Lake is too cliche? Colin thinks Very so, cliche. but I'm convinced it's got a nice ring to it. Thoughts? Oh, never mind. The scan is finished. The file is clean, and it looks like it's compatible with your Goliath 7 module. Let's see what we're dealing with. Finally get Goliath 7. This panel shows selected items details and displays how it will affect your hacking tools. You can activate or deactivate a cluster using the bottom button the bottom. You can build your own network by activating clusters. Once you feel confident with your build, use the deploy option to launch the script and confirm your setup. Yes. Your build is online, the upgrades are operational. You can see all your Stinger OS stats on the left. You can continue to build on top of your current configuration, or you can start a new build from scratch at any time. Yes. Oh. You installed the cluster? You must have, because I see a new icon on your Stinger OS. I'm kind of jealous. No one has experimented with this application yet. You're the first. Congrats. I doubt that. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, but what, what did I do? They haven't explained how Goliath works. They just said I can add things to it and it'll work. I have to deactivate that. Add that and then... Oh, it's only in software? Well, it's access to Uplink 51 entities. Oh, so I can't access Uplink 51s? Okay, so I connect. Then I use that uh, that file we just got, the this Uplink file. And maybe we use Hydra to connect to the Uplink. Do this because I'm part of the NS2 thing. And it wants us to... 128.221.14.1 is the router. I don't have that. I thought the Sporga part might be useful, but... Wait, 192.168.102.116, is that maybe... No, and what? And 1.1. One, one. That's exactly what this is. This, this is my configuration. That's useless. I have no idea what I'm looking for here. Oh wait, is this? God dang it. I'm seeing an error message on my side. Missing satellite feed. Maybe there's something else in the Farkas Learning Network that'll be useful? Yeah, there is. Try looking for is. something satellite related that we can yeah, install there is. new module. I'm aware. Hey, Packet Sniff is going to be useful, so I'll put it over here. DNS is useless at the moment. The... Uplink, start your LMNR enabled remote satellite application. Enter the IP address of your current workstation. Start your LMNR enabled remote satellite application. Oh, maybe there is something else in the file browser? No. Maybe I need to go back to the Goliath and like see if there's anything new added. No? I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's the to-do list, right? So check on the Uplink connection. Log in to uplink 51 farkaslearningcom which is... I assume what we're doing at the moment start your llmnr.enabled remote satellite application I feel like I'm missing something here the packet sniffer is that do I have an IP here is that the IP that I need the, the 116 but where do I input it do I input it here after this has happened he said to check. I'm seeing an error message on my side. Missing satellite feed. Oh. Try looking for something satellite related that we could install on this new module. So it's it's specifically saying to install. So I'm guessing that means I need to look for more files on the website. So we've only found there's only two files systems here. There's the Active Directory, which gives us nothing. And then there's the file browser, which has two things. The uplink. Look into uplink 51farkaslearningcom Should I try and fingerprint that, maybe? Or I already tried to do that. Not sure. I guess not. Oh, here we go. 
acid attack launched. Fox acid attack connection completed. There we go. And now, here we go. One and two, one, six, eight. Okay, that one. And the one, two, eight, two, two, one, fourteen, one. Network intrusion module initiated. So we'll close that. Is that what we wanted? Or ping? Oh, can I perform a ping? Oh, maybe I should do a net scan to see if there's anything on this directory. Uh oh. It's the same stuff. Start the remote satellite application. But I need to find the remote satellite application that I was supposed to find inside this file site. It says this response time, which almost makes me think the packet sniffer is what it's actually saying. Oh, hang on. What's that website? Let's try that. Doesn't look like something that we need that, that, that that's in the local network because it's not 128168. This is just going to come up with like, oh, that's focus loading. Uh, maybe try it again, but at a higher rate because Okay, that didn't work. I really thought Packet Sniffer would do something, but it seems to just not. So we are getting connected from a few places. We've got the 192168. I think these two, the 23 is us and the one is the router. Um, the difference is the 24248, 241248 doesn't seem to be, uh, it doesn't seem to be the same computer, but it looks the same account, but I'm not sure. I, know, I feel like the packet server must be, well, like it says to connect these two. Is this what I need to do? Is this what it meant when it said connect? Because it said connect, but it didn't really say what. No. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to look it up. You now that you have the IP address, you can check it for vulnerabilities. Oh, okay. It wants me to check that for vulnerabilities. Didn't I do, did I not do that? Okay. So this is what we need to get that, get that sweet, sweet, good, good. Okay. We didn't do that. Interesting. See, there's so much stuff you can do that it feels like you get lost. Or it's really just like you miss the one thing that you need to do. Like, I just thought I did that already. Because there's so many things that I had to try. Okay, now we're in the uplink satellite. Okay, and then we net scan to try and find a server. We've got the project uplink files. Which I assume we would use a file browser for that, because it's not on it. Active Directory. There we go. Load Reach for the Sky, I assume. We got Uplink. We got the Gunkai version C. Var C. This file format there we go. It'll take a little longer to perform safety checks on. If it looks good, I'll get it right to you. But in the meantime, Division 79 has already sent over a Fey module compatible with Uplink 51. I've uploaded it to your module. Hopefully it'll work. Give it a spin. Oh, and tell Faye I said hello. I actually have like so much freaking respect for these people who play this game and try every single thing every single time to make sure that they have a walkthrough connected. I mean, I know that I, I pre actually, I'll check this. Thankfully, this didn't have any spoilers or anything. There was a little bit about Gunkai. I didn't know what that meant, but now I kind of do. Sometimes the the actual, which are Allison Smith people, I know that the one of the developers of this game actually followed me on Twitter. And it's like, I'm, I'm you know, a very tiny streamer slash YouTuber. So it's not like, you know, they just follow people and just like talking about their game, which I, I really love. So they probably help out a bit, but there are definitely people who play this game and just somehow managed to get like just I guess brute force all of these different puzzles to see what works every single time like I was doing this for an hour and I, I just gave up right like I was just like someone's got to have done it already and they did um so yeah we just unlocked uplink 51 um I'm assuming that's got so like because we now have this goliath I can just chuck that in and just do it whenever I'm not sure I'm assuming that means we have lots of different combinations we can do different things it's gonna get like really complicated